We're back on the morning brew with friends, and this is Hakeem Bellamy, he's a poet, author, and father, and a little bit of everything, right? A little bit of everything. And then you're joined with Melvin Mays, an artist, MC, and I just found out children's book illustrator. Like I see, I think a lot of people around Albuquerque know you as an MC, and we've seen you on stage. I had no idea you were also, you know, doing art for children's books. Pretty much uh, illustrating my whole life. That's this cool. Is something that's really not much in the spotlight as far as I go, I guess. But yeah. Right. Well, how did you guys come together to do this project? Oh, this is one of my favorite. MCs in, in the world on the planet. So, awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. so I've had a chance to work with Melvin on some tracks before, and uh, and I got to see his his visual art, his muralist work, his work on walls in people's houses, and I was just like, man, that guy's really dope. And I didn't know then that I would have a project to like present to him later. But um, after the children's story, uh, which I wrote as, as an artist in residence at my son's school, ran into Alex. Alex was like, let's do a book. We mm -hmm. were like, who, who we want to illustrate it. And that's and Alex, Alex, Alex Paramo from Alex, the... Alex Paramo, for Alex Paramo from Community Publishing, communitypublishing.org. Right. You know, that's he, he was talking about his chief. book on the other day. So he, he's got, he was telling me about his book. And I think you guys did something similar. Because in his book, there's like a musical component. You can go online and you can actually read the book with... There's, music, there's everything that... I guess it's a multimedia experience more than a book, right? Yes. And I think you guys did something similar. Yeah, it's, it's an immersive experience. I mean, you have the words of the story, you have the illustrations of the story. Uh, the illustrations can be active and activated while you're reading a book on an e-reader, tablet, cell phone, think, whatever. And yeah, there it is. There's the, Melvin Mays. Boom. It is. There it is. And then you will hear that when you listen to the narration of the book um, and, and you're having this multimedia experience, you'll hear DJ Flo Fader's uh, music bed that kind of the narration lays in. So it's got a beat to it. Yes. Do you have to write to that? When you were when you were putting this book together, did you think, okay, I'm going to have a musician and there's going to be beats. How do I write for that? Or did the, yeah. you write it and then Flo later came in and said, these are the beats I need? It was a story first, but I think that with like the magic of this being like three African-American males coming together to kind of collaborate on this book, it was, it was hip hop, like when I was writing it in my head. I didn't mm -hmm. know what music I was going to hear, but I knew I was hearing something because uh, I always hear something. <laughs> so. We got one more illustration here. There it is. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's so who, who is... What's the kid's name? Again? Yeah, that's Diego. That's Diego. One and, of Samuel's classmates. And so, how did you start drawing Diego? How did you start drawing Samuel? How, where did all of the, where did those characters come from when you started drawing them? Well, uh, Diego is referenced off of my girlfriend's son. Oh. So yeah, he always wants to be in a book. I'm doing another one based solely on him. That's Excellent. another story. <laughs> so yeah, that's dope. That's it. Well, mm -hmm. When you said that, you know, it, there is something different about having three African-American men doing a book together. I mean, how did that change the experience? And what was that like? I mean, did you write it for something like, you know, the children's books, did you write Sorry. it to explain growing up that way? I mean, what, how did you? It was just like a quintessential, like without the spoiler alert, you know, because we come out the same day as Star Wars. We got <laughs> to keep all our secrets. But, um, but like, it was just really a quintessential story about a child being in class, a teacher asking like the hardest question ever, what do you want to be when you grow up, mm -hmm. him not, finding any answers in the classroom and needing to go outside into the world to find those answers and coming mm. back. Is that how you did it? Yeah, that was just the story, right? And right. it just happens that the, the main character's black and it happens that the author's black and it happens that the illustrator's <laughs> black and it happens. But, but the but musician is and everything Right, else. but it's a story for everybody, And uh, but we do feel right. like it's a cool way to kind of change the narrative around black men. Well, they always say write about what you know. Mm -hmm. So is that how you came to become a poet? Yeah. I feel like I was disillusioned in school and I was trying to find out who, what I wanted to be. I thought I wanted yeah. to go in biology and that's what I, my degree is actually in biology. And I went down that road as far as I could go and then I went out into the world and realized I could be a poet or a, or a children's book illustrator or whatever the heck Whatever I wanted you wanted to be. To be. Yeah. Right. yeah, and is yeah. that kind of the message you're hoping to get across in the book is that you, you can go down paths and if they're dead ends, no big deal? Yeah, yeah? that's it. That, and don't be afraid to not know. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes to find answers, you have to leave the school. Yeah. Well, as an MC, I know I've seen you around. When, do you, are you still MCing? Are you still out there? Are you still performing? Well, I'm on a brief hiatus. I just had a, my first daughter a year oh, and a half ago. Oh, congratulations. It's a little time consuming. Always yeah. writing, always yeah, Because no one wants it. to hear raps about babies. <laughs> I got some good raps about babies. Yeah, raps. yeah. I'm noticing the baby references leaking into a lot of my material. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> just like effective. dropping the diapers references somewhere. There you go. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But, it's uh, code. I think only parents understand that. Like when you put that in your raps, other parents be like, "Word." <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
kill you. <laughs> You're talking about my life. <laughs> 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 when you were around from us staying up all night now, right. it's about, yeah. it's, for different reasons than it was five years ago, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. So how did you become a, a, an illustrator? I mean, is this the, I don't know what other books you've done. As far as books, I'm more of a, of a portrait artist. A lot, I do a lot of commission work for, I mean, no one prominent, just I get the phone call, I make it happen. That's pretty much it. But as far as drawing, that's been my creative outlet literally since elementary school age. Cool. So yeah. the book is called, again... Samuel Story. Samuel Story. Comes out Friday? Friday. Big event. Street Level Productions. Shout out to Cara Tolino uh, for helping make it happen. 516 Arts is where it's going to be. Um, also an awesome, awesome, awesome place. A, a place, a space downtown for artists. And uh, we're going to have music. The tubers are going to be there. There's going to be activities for the young people besides the reading of the children's book. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. Is Flow Fader the carnival? Gonna spinning flow. flow Fader's gonna be there. I love yes, it. Yes, and it's it's what five o'clock to five to seven ish. Five to seven. That's want to keep it family time. You know, some of y'all do want to go see that late night showing of uh, uh, Star, Star Wars. Wars. You know, uh, if I were you, I would go actually see a Howlin' Wolf over here. Go yeah. check out Artie. Right? You know what I'm saying? That, well, it, it's kind of perfect because we go we go see your art show and then we go right to the Howlin' Wolves and they, yeah, they're yeah. playing at the Sunshine. It's like four blocks yeah. away. It's kind of perfect, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, it's a night. It's a whole night. It's a, it's a beautiful night. Well, why don't you guys take it away?